Hello everybody, and today I'm doing a quick update, a uh, little update video to uh, let you guys know what's going on these days. Not really these days, but in the future, what's happening with the channel. So, if you're not already aware, last time I checked, which was a few minutes ago, we had 995 subscribers. We are only 5 subscribers away from 1 thousand which is absolutely ridiculous to me uh it's insane because it just feels like it i, I don't know it feels like I, I just had like 75 the other day but i mean we've got we've come a long way i mean it's been a slow slow and i mean slow gradual pace getting to 1000 it took five years almost six years it's been insane, and uh, I wanted to talk to you guys about what I have planned for the 1,000 subscriber special. Now, you know, I'm as you noticed, I always do subscriber specials every time the first digit of the subscriber count changes. By changes, I mean goes up. If it goes down, I don't, I'm not going to do that. Um, but uh, if you noticed, I did a uh, subscriber special for uh, 80 subscribers, 90, 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, and 800. I did not do a 900 subscriber special. Mainly because I hit it so fast, and the main reason is I was lazy and didn't feel like doing it. But for 1,000, I am not, this is going to be absolutely insane. Uh, I've been playing this out for months, and I mean probably six months now. I've been planning out the 1,000 subscriber special, and I'm like, what should I do that is big enough for 1,000 subscribers? And this is insane because this is when they add the K. I mean, we're getting another digit. This is a four-digit number. This is not just another 100. So 1,000 arguably is probably the biggest milestone until a million, and I don't know if I'll ever get there, so I got to make this big. All right, so I'm going on a trip. I'm going to Washington, D.C., okay? Officially announced. I've been trying to hide it from people, not announce it, but I'm going to Washington, D.C., I'm leaving on April 14th, so I'm actually missing school for a day to film this. I'm going to do a ton of videos there. Um, I'm not just going to Washington, D.C., though. I'm actually going to start um, my trip in Pennsylvania. Uh, I'm doing three things in Pennsylvania before I go to Washington, D.C. They're all in like, the same area. Uh, the first day, April 14th, I'm driving out to Pennsylvania. It's a few-hour drive from where I'm at. Um, I'm going to drive east, and then so I'm going to visit the... The main thing I want to visit in Pennsylvania is going to be the Gettysburg Battlefield. I'm going to be visiting the Gettysburg Battlefield day two of the trip. So what I'm going to do is day one, April 14th, I'm going to drive out to Pennsylvania, stay in the hotel. But I'm going to do two things on the way there. The one thing I have on the way there is um, the Flight 93 Memorial in uh, somewhere in Pennsylvania. I don't know where it's at. It's about, uh, it's about an hour and a half outside of Gettysburg. Uh, it was the, in 9-11, they had that fourth plane that did not, uh, the fourth hijacked plane that was not, uh, that didn't hit the World Trade Centers of the Pentagon that crashed into the field. I'm going to visit the memorial for that. Uh, hopefully, they'll let me film at all these places. I, I don't know why they wouldn't, but if I don't, uh, I'm going to check that out. That's on the way to Gettysburg. Um, on Gettysburg, though, I'm not, I'm going to stay in Gettysburg the first night, but I'm actually going to head on over. It's about an hour and a half outside of Gettysburg to the east across the river is, uh, Lancaster, Pennsylvania. I'm going to visit James Buchanan's grave, uh, in Lancaster. And then after that, I'm going to drive down to Gettysburg and stay there for the night. So day one is going to be a lot of driving for me. And then I'm going to go to the Flight 93 Memorial and James Buchanan's grave, scream his name for smash. So that's day one. Then I'm going to stay in a hotel in Gettysburg. On the morning of the second day, I'm going to go to the Gettysburg Battlefield, do a video there, do a video at the cemetery, uh, talk about some of the regiments that were there and some of the um, parts of the battle and why it was so significant. It was a three-day battle, July 1st to July 3rd of 1863. It was the deadliest battle in the Civil War, killing about twenty or killing about 50,000 people, 25,000 on the Union side, about 25,000 on each side. Uh, and the Confederates and uh, Union side. Um, they have cemeteries there for the regiments, uh, the people that died there. The uh, I'm going to be talking about the 73rd Ohio Regiment, which I have some ancestors that served in that regiment, and also uh, s uh, some really cool stories behind that. And uh, I'm going to go through, like, you know, Pickett's Charge, you know, all those, all that stuff. 
that was there at that battle. Um, it, the Civil War, if you know, was the deadliest war in American history, um, and Gettysburg was the deadliest battle in that war. So uh, we'll go through that. I'm not going to go too much into detail with that because I'm going to do that. Uh, after Gettysburg, I'm going to drive over to Washington, D.C. It's pretty close to Pennsylvania. I mean, probably a few hour drives, probably not that far. And then I'm going to go there, probably uh, stay there for the night. I'm not 100% sure how all this goes out, but I'm going to be doing a cemetery tour on Arlington National Cemetery. Oh my God, I cannot wait to go there. It's going to be so freaking cool. Uh, Arlington Cemetery. I'm also going to visit the World War II Memorial, the Iwo Jima statue, um, the uh, Vietnam memorial tomb of the unknown soldier at arlington probably visit robert e lee's house because it's right across the uh right there on the property uh also just visit the lincoln memorial the capitol building maybe see the white house maybe meet joe biden i don't know Pro that's not gonna happen but that'd be cool uh the uh jefferson memorial washington monument uh all that stuff check all that out hopefully if i can get everything to to work out again i'm not gonna be able to see everything in washington dc but i just want to get the gist of it because it's gonna be so freaking cool because uh, for those of you that don't know, um, usually uh, my school does an eighth grade um, Washington, D.C. trip, but my class didn't get to go because of the freaking pandemic. So that's, that was the reason. So I'm actually going to get to go now, a uh, year later. So this is actually so good. Uh, so after that, uh, probably going to stay there. And then the third day, we're probably going to drive. I think this is a four day trip, and I'm not 100% sure. Then we're going to drive down to Richmond, Virginia, which is the last stop in the trip. So it's Gettysburg, Washington, D.C., and Richmond. Now, for those of you who don't know, Richmond was the capital of the Confederate States of America during the Civil War. And we're going to go down there and visit Hollywood Cemetery. But on the way there, we're going to visit the burial sites of uh, George Washington, because a lot of people do the George Washington uh, thing, because it's, it's Mount Vernon is very close to Washington, D.C., so... Uh, we're going to see Washington's grave. I'm also going to try to try to see Thomas Jefferson and James Madison's grave as well on the way down because they're buried in Virginia. Um, by the way, in Washington, D.C., I'm going to see John F. Kennedy, William Howard Taft's graves, both in Arlington. And then I'm going to see uh, Woodrow Wilson's grave, hopefully in Washington, D.C., because he's the only one actually buried in D.C. because the others are buried in Virginia. Arlington's technically in Virginia. So James Madison and Thomas Jefferson and George Washington on the way down to Richmond, hopefully, if uh, Thomas Jefferson and James Madison's graves are close enough to there. If they're not like three hours out of the way. Those are the only two I'm kind of iffy on. Um, if James Madison and Thomas Jefferson's graves are not close together, I might see one or the other or neither, but I really hope I can see both. Um, and then once we get down to Richmond, we're going to do the Hollywood Cemetery. Probably the number two cemetery that I want to visit in the United States. Um, it's got, it's got more Confederate dead than any cemetery in the United States. Um, two presidents are buried there, John Tyler and James Monroe. We're going to see all of those. I'm going to do their own videos on them. And the Confederate president, Jefferson Davis, is also buried there, as well as a ton of Confederate uh, generals are buried there, too. Um, like I talked about earlier with Pickett's Charge, uh, George Pickett's buried there, the guy who um, led the Pickett's Charge at Gettysburg. So it's going to be kind of cool doing that because at the beginning of the trip, I'm going to do Gettysburg and talk about Pickett's Charge. And then at the end, we're going to see his grave uh at hollywood cemetery and then that's basically it and that's gonna be a lot of videos i don't know i'm not gonna make it one vi big video there's gonna be a ton of different videos so like i'm gonna do a video on the all the memorials each president's gonna get their own gr uh their own thing like i did with all the other presidents where i scream the name for smash give a tour biography themselves so i'm gonna do three separate videos at hollywood cemetery four actually four separate videos at hollywood cemetery you're gonna have the hollywood cemetery tour which is just the big picture then you're gonna have the three mini videos the james monroe for smash the john tyler for smash and then the jefferson davis for smash i don't only do the presidents of the united states but there was only one confederate president jefferson davis so i'll just do him i'll scream his name too why not uh so jeff jefferson davis monroe and tyler that's three separate videos and then the hollywood cemetery tour in general and i don't know exactly what day or what time these will be posted hopefully i can get these posted on the trip but don't count on that. Don't be surprised if it's like a week later I'm posting videos still from that trip because it's going to be insane. And then as for the monuments in D.C., it's going to be hard because I don't know if I want to do a, one video on the Lincoln Memorial or if I want to do the Lincoln Memorial, the Jefferson Memorial, the Washington Monument, uh, the World War II thing in, in one video. I don't know if I want to do that in one video or if I'm going to separate that. But Arlington Cemetery is going to get its own video. And then I'm going to do a video on Kennedy and Taft separately. 
And then Buchanan's going to get a separate video, obviously, and Madison and Thomas Jefferson and George Washington, obviously, because those are like, you know, their own things. And then I'll probably do a video on the 9-11 thing as well. Um, and then whatever else I find interesting, Washington, D.C., because I'm sure I'm going to find something else interesting I'm going to do a video about. I don't know how it's all going to be laid out, but basically that's the gist of it. I don't know if I'm going to do all of those things, but I'm going to try to if I can. So April 14th is when it starts. That's when I leave. Uh, and again, I'm going to miss school that day. Hopefully teachers are not mean and throw out like a million assignments because that would be really, really bad. And that's the day before uh, Good Friday and all that stuff. I, I doubt they'll have too many things, but you know, knowing me, they, knowing that, they probably will. The second thing I want to announce is the Character Burst Arena Season 2. So those of you that are not aware, last Saturday, no, not yesterday, week before on uh, what would have been March 26th I posted the last episode of Carrick vs. Arena the Sora episode part 90 uh, so what you might be like well this series has gone on for over two years and it's so sad that it's ending well we're not done yet there's four other Smash games we got Smash 4 so start starting sorry that my, about that my camera just screwed up so starting next Saturday, April 9th, is going to be the first episode of Character Arena Season 2. I'll just call it a Character Arena Part 91. Just keep the train going. And we're going to go through every single character in Smash 4. Now don't tell me, oh, there's no arenas in Smash 4. Well, who cares? We're still going to play the game. It's still going to be called Character Arena, even though there's no arenas. Now I don't know how I'm going to do the series. If I'm just going to play as a character on offline battles or online. I'll probably try online matches. But we'll see how it goes. I might try something new each time. Now, there is not as many characters in Smash 4, so this series probably will not go on for two years. Season 2 might last maybe nine months. I'm anticipating probably around nine months uh, we'll go on with this. So that would lead us probably to about early 2023. Maybe. I don't know. It might not take even that long. Then after this, we're going to do uh, Brawl, then Melee, and then 64. So that's just distant future stuff. But next... Episodes, Character vs. Arena, Season 2. We're going to do Smash 4. So, uh, with that, just wanted to get you guys updated on what's going on. we got a lot of big stuff coming up, and I'm really excited to get to it. And uh, be sure to comment, like, and subscribe. This might be the last video I post before I have 1,000 subscribers, so this is kind of cool. Uh, so, I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye. Wah.